welcome back to Traveler's Paradise. Today we have quite an interesting journey to one of the most beautiful natural botanical gardens in Hawaii. The garden covers 400 acres and has plants native to Hawaii and the Polynesian Islands. It's open every day and the best part is it's free of charge. The view is super gorgeous. It is scenic. Take a look at that. This is probably the most amazing view I've seen, other than the Grand Canyon, of course, but this is gorgeous. Look. Jennifer found some pop. What is that? Passion fruit? Passion fruit. Passion fruit. And yesterday we found a whole bunch of other uh, fruit. Not yesterday, before yesterday. Pomegranates. We were walking uh, and we found like all these trees with pomegranates, grapes. The closer we get, the more beautiful it becomes. Visitors come very, very, very much. Well, you see a lot of, uh, mostly by car though. You see a lot of cars coming in. I guess there's a parking lot on the inside. By the way, I want to let you guys know that you're not allowed to take any pictures in the middle of the road. Come. Because a lot of people are coming here taking pictures for Instagram. It's a really famous spot with the, the backdrop there. Uh, so, yeah, she, the lady was yelling at like two, two girls that were trying to do it trying to sneak it in while they were on the car. So it takes about uh, one mile from the entrance to get into the national park. And uh, most people are coming in with cars. We're like the only ones that I see right now that are walking there. Because we are true adventurists. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Look at this. Me, that's not how you give a high five. <laughs> give me a correct one. That still sucks. <laughs> anyway, so we should be there soon because I have to go to the bathroom pretty badly. And I got a souvenir. Yeah, she did. Look at that. A bird. Be careful. Nest. She stole this from a bird. No, I didn't. Bird's nest. Don't say that. <laughs> now we saw it on the floor. Yeah. Check out this tree. It's called the Midnight Horror. And you can see why. No leaves. Completely bare. What did you find over there? Flowers. Flowers, really? Yeah, you know when I was in Italy? collected flowers, let them dry, and those were for tea. Oh, that's tea right there? I think so, because they smell so good. Uh-huh. All right, we'll try later. Hopefully it's not poisonous. We'll find out. Take a picture of the we'll name. We'll find out. Where, where is it? There. It's over there. Let's see, it's called the pink copsia. And it is a dogbane family tree. From, from, uh, it's from Burma. It has sugar? Yeah. All right. We'll test it out. Hopefully we'll survive. So this is the types of birds to be on the lookout for. That you might be able to see. We're on the way to the lake right now. Where you're gonna, where they have koi fish and probably different types of ducks. Look, huh? this is the, the type of plant that they use. Panama used hat plant. They had. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Do you know how to do you know how to make the hat? No, but in my country You're they Ecuador, are the so, best. Yeah. The Panam the Panama hat, the most expensive one, yeah. are from Ecuador. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Oh here's the bamboo plant. Wow. Right here. Oh, cool. A lot of different types of plants. Imperial, brown of the Oh, this one, the lipstick plant. <laughs> Is that how they make lipstick? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, I have this. Where? In Ecuador? Like in my For aunt's cow. house. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she has like And what a, does it grow? It's cacao. Cacao. That's oh. the fruit. Yeah, I see it. Nice. I don't think I've ever tried oh, that. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Look at that. Huachil. There it is. Yeah. You know how to pronounce that? Oh, yeah. Huachilote. Is that correct? Quachilote, yeah. yeah. There is a bat there. Pollinated oh, wow. by bats. Oh wow, that's so cool. So, look at the types of uh, fruit that it grows. Alright, so this uh, national park was actually built by the U.S. Army Corps. Designed and built by the dam across the stream. Construction began in 1976 and the gate closed in October 1980. And you can see it. Right over there. You're in love with this place already? 
when I first take a nap. She just loves nature. She wants to feel it and get in touch with it. And what a better way than to lay on the grass, enjoy the view. But we only, we only have about three more hours left before we gotta leave since it closes at what, five o'clock? Any food for them? Oh, wow. Actually, these are not koi fish. These are they look more like parrot fish or something. I got confused by the color. found something. Oh, like a mongoose. Oh, it's running really fast. It's running, it's running, go! <laughs> Look at that thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a mongoose, though. Come back! I'm not going in there. He knows that. I'm friendly! Might want to take it back to New York City with me, but... Oh, it's hiding. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, it looked kind of like a mongoose, right? I don't know, did you see it? Like a what? A mongoose, you know what that is? It's really cute though. Yeah, I saw one of those yesterday, I told you. So this is the Akai palm tree. It has tons and tons of antioxidants. We can't even reach it because it's so high up. What a beautiful plant though. And look at this right here. Those look bamboo banana, looking banana. uh wait, what, bananas where? Yeah. Oh this is a banana plant right here. Do you see any bananas though? No. I don't see them either. Alright, we're about to leave. We're super tired and we're hungry. There's nothing to eat in here, no drinks, nothing. <sighs> I'm telling you. I guess they want to keep it clean or something. I don't know. But uh to get out of here it's about a mile of a walk. And after that there's also I think no restaurants or anything around here. So we're probably just going to take the bus back. I'm picking some uh, passion fruit from this vine here. These taste really good. Getting them for Jennifer. Since we're so hungry, this is all we have to eat right now. Nature is good, you see? <laughs> oh yeah, it is. In Hawaii? Wow, this is delicious. It is very good. And those taste really good, yeah. I gotta say, it's probably one of my favorite fruits now, after the pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Give me a piece. Mm. Alright, here we go. Mmm. Yeah. That was so good. We had an awesome day today at the gardens. And we're gonna finish it off with some good food at a restaurant called Kani Kapila Grill. It's a Hawaiian restaurant. And I made a reservation online for 7.30 p.m. So we should be there, we're supposed to be there in about 30 minutes or less. Um, after that, we might do some dancing at a different location, not the district. There's another one in Waikiki. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Not that much, but right, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. enjoy some food. Yeah, some good food. After all that walking, you gotta yeah, be, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah. hungry, right? I mean, <laughs> all that hiking, I mean. <laughs> okay, we'll enjoy the food, okay? We sure will. Alrighty. See you guys there. Look at that, look at that. Did you see? Every time you walk into the bathroom, the toilet seat goes up, it's automatic. It, just ha it has a sensor. And by the way, over here, just wanted to show you guys. There's, there's a button that cleans your... Ar what, how do you say that in, in a nice, kind type of way? It cleans your ass. <laughs> you got one with warm water, cold water, enema, you got one that cleans the, you know, the female parts, and one that dries it up. <laughs> but it doesn't work as well, you know, if, you still gotta really clean it properly. Anyway, we go. We'll see you guys at the restaurant. 
so we just got back from the restaurant. I gotta say, most of it was really good. Like the, the, she got fish tacos and that was very tasty. And the Bloody Mary that I got was really good as well, spicy and it had a lot of flavor to it. But the, the, what did I get, the Huli Huli chicken? It was, I don't know, I don't understand. I expected a lot more from it, you know? I expected, you know, that they would make it into more of a meal. I guess it was, it was a meal, but it's, it's like they cut a piece of chicken, like half of a chicken, they put it on a plate, and then they put the rice and asparagus. And I feel like it just, it wasn't... The it sauce, w- the sauce on, on top, like... That was the holy holy thing, actually. Yeah, right. It was just like the sauce on top of the chicken. It was nothing special, really. It was still decent, and I feel like extremely full, and so does she, right? Because <laughs> we shared. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, we had a really good day, and uh, we're going to call it a night. We wanted to go out dancing, but we're so, like, full, we can't even move right now. <laughs> <laughs> so. But we will move here. Yeah, yeah, dance. we're gonna we're gonna do some dancing out here, I guess. You know, just just to help t- to digest all that food. You know, you gotta do something. <laughs> and have fun. Yeah, gotta have some fun. We're gonna have more of that on the rest of the trip, and especially tomorrow, we might be going to Diamond Head to do the hike. Um, if not, we will do it the next day because there might be thunderstorms tomorrow, so we might have to switch up the days. So, anyway. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Have a good night. Good night, 99.